Two Baba Stoneboy, Angeli Hijo, Debanj, Davido, Ice Prince Zamani, Yemi Stop Alade. Please let me <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Debanj, um, Sir Victor Waifo, and other few African artists have been inducted by BET in Grammy Museum Sound of Africa exhibition. The artists were honored by the Grammy Museum at the Sounds of Africa exhibition for their impact and contribution to the exhibition. Sounds of Africa was created to exhibit and celebrate the works of African artists at the museum. Um, the exhibition featured handwritten lyrics, costumes, and rare instruments from the artist. Shout out to Stoneboy, first and foremost. Big shout out to Stoneboy. It's, I, I don't know why Nigerian artists are not bringing, they're not pretty excited about this from what I saw. Um, the story was more um, pushed out from the Ghana side. And if you read the story well, if you don't even pay attention, you would think it was just a stone boy mm. thing, and you know. So, um, but I don't know. Maybe we've had too many wins here and there. Yeah, okay, do you one of those things. Like, but um, I think it's, I it is nice to appreciate whatever form of recognition you get. I don't even say it's too many wins. Now, I think this is the first of its kind. You understand so let's see how it goes i hope it's not one of those things that they try to box us into that hot looking african country that do you understand like i don't get where they're going with all of this because if you're saying african music and now they've represented africa let's see how it goes because i think a lot of us also do other genres apart from african music we do mm. the pop we do the r&b we do all of that we also want to be recognized for all of that in as much mm. as we are africans we also want to be recognized for all the genres that are in this world you can because if a, a canadian should draw a pop song you would not say it's african pop it's still pop so i think we we're not so comfortable with always trying to box us into africa africa but africa. african has its own unique sound so yeah that but is when i'm not nice, making think, african sound don't put me in african so sound. who is not making african sound that is in the african sound list you know? would you say world is making african sound? was world on the list no i'm just saying oh you so say? you're saying in terms of recognition yeah. for someone like that not to be left behind yeah. because he's not doing that kind of song but well i mean we, can, we would also not take away the fact that if that's going to happen then what somebody like world will have to work double Mm. to get to that point Obviously. it's just like when a woman will say well oh, i have to work double to get recognition in man that's the same thing that's going to happen for a person like what because you're you're following uh, the footsteps of people that are already doing it so before a world is remembered they'll probably remember a chris brown they'll remember it the weekend and, and all Justin that Bieber. and he's someone that has written for the likes of um, mm. chris brown so he he's, he's doing the job but it's going to require extra effort to be recognized in that capacity but then i think Saz is doing a lot with the world to add the african vibe into yeah, his sound now. so that's something th we all need to think of how to diversify in whatever area we are um are working so that um if you want a level of recognition you just think of how you can work towards making that happen it's not something that's just going to happen mm. because you think you're doing it better than those who started it <laughs> I, I, mean. saw, I saw kofi kinata who is also from ghana on that list mm -hmm. and i'm so happy for him because when i was in ghana that was like somebody that was putting in the work mm. do you understand and i'm so glad he's beginning to get the international recognition that he deserves as well because he's a great artist as well and big shout out to stone boy if you want to put um stone boy has um he said a cool written song with the Heritage Brothers, uh, Morgan Heritage, and mm -hmm. the rest of them. The Heri I think it's the Heritage Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I think that was nominated for the Grammy. So I think that's a big win from then. And now that he's been inducted, it's a big win for Stoneboy. He's one of the big S in Ghana, like we yeah. discovered last mm -hmm. week. But, da -da -da -da, all up. West Whiskey.